so first of all i'm just showing you from where you can download the tiny 11 okay so when you search actually uh, so you, you are getting uh, many websites so you have to but you have to go to this archive.org and uh, this is the website you can see that this is the archive.org here you can uh, this is the internet archive and this is actually now uh, this tiny 11 is actually uh, an unofficial edition and it is uh, uh, developed by independent uh, developer nt dev okay so make sure you uh, verify this so you can you can see that that tiny 11 by nt dev and also in the identifier uh, you, you can see tiny 11 nt dev right so this is the uh, official page <laughs> it is unofficial but uh, still it is official you can see that how you can download the iso file now you see that uh, here you can see that iso image and here uh, you can see uh, this is the tiny 11 b2 no system requirement okay so you just uh, download this iso image and when you install through this iso so no tpm will be required okay so all the uh, minimum eligibility to install the windows 11 will be bypassed okay and if you have an eligible laptop if you have a eligible uh, laptop or pc so you can download uh, this version tiny 11 b2 right so 3.6 uh, gb of size so this is the size is pretty much less than the original windows 11 size so after downloading this you just uh, what you have to do you just uh, make a bootable pen drive uh, by rafas okay so uh, and then you can boot from uh, from that pen drive okay so you need to disable the uh, secure boot in your laptop right and then uh, the installation process uh, is very easy a normal uh, just like normal installation of uh, windows 11 now basically what are the uh, features uh, of the tiny 11 now it is uh, very much lightweight okay uh, in win uh, now normal windows 11 takes almost uh, greater than 3 gb of ram but uh, this actually takes 1.1 gb of ram you can see that normal windows 11 took um, uh, 20 gb of space to install completely but, but this tiny 11 only uh, requires 8 gb of space and you can see that so basically if you have a, a lower specification laptop or pc so you can uh, uh, you can just uh, use this tiny 11 okay and it is based on the latest windows 11 pro 22 h2 version now microsoft store is installed in the tiny 11 and also uh, it uses a local account uh, to log in but uh, of course uh, you are getting the option of uh, online sign in now talking about the negative side of this uh, tiny 11 now since it is an unofficial release so actually uh, many modified version of this may be available in the internet in the torrent sites or in the internet archive also so uh, basically it is an unofficial okay so so security cannot be guaranteed uh, maybe some hacker just put a virus into it and then redistribute it so your computer may be affected by the virus dangerous virus so it is very much uh, you can say uh, vulnerable uh, system you can say that now i can show you guys that this is another uh, page uh, in the internet archive so this is actually an older version windows 11 tiny edition so this is made by uh, another uh, developer uh, you can see that okay so basically you can see that these are unofficial editions so basically uh, security cannot be guaranteed but i think uh, the better way uh, to use the linux systems in your older computers because any linux system such as mx linux or linux mint or uh, ubuntu unity all these are very lightweight linux distribution and can easily run with the 2 gb of ram uh, and with you can see any processor okay so uh, i i will recommend to use the linux system instead of uh, this uh, tiny 11 because linux systems are much more secure than this so if this video is helpful to you then hit the like button subscribe my channel and you can uh, send me super thanks okay so thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye